Hi, we're here today to talk about compartment syndrome. Um, compartment syndrome is one of the few true orthopedic emergencies. Um, if uh, there's a suspicion of compartment syndrome, it usually means um, the orthopedic surgeon stops what he's doing, makes his way to the emergency room to evaluate the patient. Compartment syndrome is usually associated with high energy trauma. Um, that can be uh, associated with a fracture where there's bleeding from the broken bone into the muscle. Uh, other um, causes of compartment syndrome could be a crush injury where your leg gets, um, or your extremity gets pinned between an object and a wall. Um, you can have a, a bleeding um, event to the muscle that causes compartment syndrome. You could have tight casts. You could have uh, rhabdomyolysis. Um, so an anticoagulation. Yeah. So that's a spontaneous bleed. Yeah. Um, the there are five P's that are associated with compartment syndrome. The first is pain out of proportion, which is usually associated with a lot of swelling. The most sensitive finding is pain with passive stretch, which to evaluate passive stretch, all you do is you gently pull the great toe into extension and that will make the patient usually shriek in pain. Um, uh, other P's are uh, paresthesias would be second, which uh, numbness and tingling into the foot the patient will complain about, um, pulselessness, poikiothermia, and pallor. and pallor are late findings. So to test for compartment syndrome, it's usually a clinical diagnosis. Um, you can see obvious swelling of the leg. Um, the uh, skin is rather tympanic in terms of you literally think you could bounce a marble or a quarter off the, off the skin or soft tissue. Um, but a, a second way to diagnosis or to diagnose compartment syndrome um, objectively is with a striker needle. So we will show you how to use a striker needle today. So the striker needle can be found in the emergency department or the operating room usually has one available. Um, and it comes in a little kit. So this is the little kit and you want to make sure that it turns on and off and that the battery is working. So that's great. If the battery isn't working, it's a 9 volt battery and they have extras in the emergency department. So the needle can only fit on one end. It can't go on that end, it can only go on that end, and likewise the syringe can only go on one end. So once yep. that is assembled, you open your pressure monitor and you depress the rubber gasket onto so the mouse. So there's black rubber gasket on the bottom it just sits right in you press, you press it down it, down, it kind of clicks pop. in there pops in okay. and then you can close it and then you turn it on button there and it's already zeroed but usually like to zero it So you just gently, sorry, we'll get you wet. Prime the needle. Prime the needle, so sorry. Okay, let's use it. That's through the skin. Yeah, so then you inject about a cc of fluid. And you wait for it to zoot. And you wait for the number to settle. to settle and here it's settling at 12 which would be normal so you don't have compartment syndrome that's lovely <laughs>